Here to folks, uh, this is Finn from Ethelmark. This is uh, my Greek Spear and Shield uh, Pellwork drill. Um, sorry, I haven't been, I've, I've been sick the last two weeks, which is why you have not seen one of the last couple of weeks. Uh, so, but come back out tonight to uh, get back to work on this. Uh, actually have the spear done. Let me get a little closer here. So that's the head. Did a, uh, got a wood grain duct tape for the, for the spear shaft. And then that's the, uh, that's the bus bike part. So right now this is seven, seven foot. Uh, we'll see how I like it. If it's a little bit unwieldy, I might cut it down to six. Uh, I have a feeling a lot of SCA guys, that's what they end up having. But I wanted to start off at seven and see if I can make it work. Uh, and then after that, I'll I'll go I'll move I'll change it. So, but uh, for those going to stay and watch, uh, thanks. And uh, I, I know some of the stuff isn't exactly what they would have been doing in practice back then. But I have to adapt some of our stuff. I have to adapt to our game. So with what works and what doesn't work, because well. It still is, I'm out there with a bunch of other guys, with a bunch, bunch of other people, and I don't want to be a detriment to my unit. So, so yes, I'm going to adapt. So, all right, uh, thanks, and uh, I'm gonna grab my shield and get to work. Like roll, I'll start off at the Start doing, start at the, uh, with underhand first. Let me move the camera a little bit, I just noticed that I'm out of frame when I'm all the way back. Let's see if that works better. Still got a little bit of a curve in this, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. I can tell I haven't done this in a while. A couple weeks. And yeah, like, uh, with the padding and all that, yeah, this is a lot more, it's a lot heavier than what it used to be. A lot of actually. And then the fact of between practice on Monday, regular pedal work last night, yeah, spiritual was just a little bit tired. It's a lot heavier. It's almost to the point of really being unwieldy, which I'm not exactly happy about. Yeah, 
It goes between. I put strap and tape all the way down, basically all the way down the shaft to help ridge it up a little bit. Then you got, you know, just two, two small pieces of foam here uh, just to help make up the spearhead. Uh, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. And the thrusting tips are the Windrose ones, so they're, you know, so they're solid, all that kind of good stuff. Um, there is part of me that, is, that kind of feels like maybe I should have just put, just used regular foam instead of those. That would have kind of a little bit of weight down. Uh, I still, I don't know. I'm not good on judging thrusting tips. That doesn't feel like that gives a whole lot, so I'm not really even sure it's going to pass. I need to take it to a local practice and have someone check it out and see if I have to cut stuff out. So, all right. I'm noticing I'm having to lance, lance it uh, a lot more. Before I wasn't really having to do that. Now with the extra weight to it, I'm almost having to. Which I'm not sure I'm exactly fond of. So I'm having to basically brace it like this to be able to thrust correctly. Just for reference, when I actually fight this in melees, I'm probably going to be fighting it with like this. Because my primary is going to be that. So if I go underhand, it's probably going to be like this. So I'll do underhand. And I'll come back with that. Uh, is that how it was done? No. And I totally understand. And I totally understand that that's not how it was done. But in our in our game, I don't have a thousand hoplites with me. You know, I'm probably going to need only one. <laughs> so, and going from this to this. Uh, this isn't exactly. Now, once I get my murder gauntlets, oh, I can do that move easily. With the gauntlets I have now, yeah, I'm just going to be. The, this is just going to fall to the ground. Uh, so, yeah. So, most likely, this is how I'll do it. Is I'll go, you know, have this one go. Okay, up. I'll open fill, boom. Then come back to overhead. So. That's my current plan right now. It's not historically correct, but for our game, I think it's probably the best uh, version. I mean, if anything, it's almost like I'm using a uh, Macedonian cavalry spear, uh, which had just two points on, on both ends. Uh, is really what it's what it's really how I'm going to be using it. So you know, I've got this, and it's either. That or being able to thrust behind, um, like they would like they were done, or the other case of oh the thrust oh gets broken off. Okay, now you've got this one. So, but yeah, so that's that. all right.
Good to tell me I can do that a lot more times than uh, the other the other hand. But I've got two rounds off on that one. You can tell my hood's up because it's cold. It's getting cold again. I think it's going to be cold like for a couple of days and it's going to be back in like the 50s. Very weird weather now. I got so much more control with this, this way. At least a drill. I mean, really, I think where I'm going to get most of my kills at on this is either after charges or repulsing charges. Uh, I think just sticking straight across, it's just like bridge battles, uh, mountain pass type stuff. Uh, I'm probably going to get kills. You know, just being a real good shield in the front. I'm probably gonna get my kills. Because you know, you'll, you'll get that spearman, who you know overextends, I can pop out and pop out. Or he doesn't think I'm gonna be able to get to. Uh, you know, say this is spear line, and then boom, sitting out there. Now they might mess with that. I'll probably keep this down like this. So it'd be block, block, block. Huh. It's like, oh, the overextends, pop. Uh, or, because lots of, like, the face, I can see a lot of guys turning their heads if I pop across. Um, so what I'm probably going to be aiming a lot for is the body. So, you know, so boom, pop, pop. And just pop in the body. Um, Especially trying to hit the landing points. So, shoulders, hips are going to be my four in the, in the face. And actually, mid, mid chest isn't bad, especially starting the area. Uh, those are going to be my main target areas. Uh, that's, that's about that. But like as far as like like filled battles, yeah, it's gonna be you know running across, running across, running across, boom, hit, get that breakthrough, whatever, and start coming across and just start popping. Especially when you start running up on those spears, you know, just boom, pop, and just keep moving, and just keep moving down the line, bam, bam. So they're trying to you know get back. You've got the shield, you've got the, but you've got something that's actually got some range to it. And because it's the center, you know, it's, it's, you know, throwing that stick, you know, throwing the sword, you know, they can get their stick up to get the block. This is a whole lot harder, this is a whole lot harder block with that spear shaft. Now, it can be done easily, yeah, I mean, it can be done easily. I mean, they can sweep it when I'm coming across. Um, but, you know, boom. You know, double pump, you know, make that hard block, because they really have to. Uh, so, yeah. But that's about that. Uh, hope you enjoyed. If you uh, stuck around and uh, watched, hope you enjoyed it.
I've already got one dislike on my stuff, but oh well. <laughs> I know I know a lot of guys that just do Greek Greek re uh, reenactments. Uh, I know they're not happy with what we do because no, we we take liberties, and I fully understand we take liberties. But we but we are still a sport. We still have to perform on the field, uh, and especially when you don't have all your guys with you. Where yeah, you can line up shoulder shield and know that your that your sides are protected because your buddy is there with you. I'm not going to have that. It's going to be me. I might have some. Some regular SCA type board shows, which you know is 24 by 36 scudos and things like that, which I, you know, we have a decent amount of. But we're also going to have guys with just center grip, you know, 30 inch maybe like oval and round shows, but mostly oval. Uh, and most of the time they're not even 30 out there next to me. So no, I've got to adjust my game. And they would have done the same thing. I mean, that's why. The, uh, you know, the Greek phalanx, it did evolve. Now, it took some time, um, but that's because for the longest time, they were it. They were the heavy, you know, they were the heavy monster. It took Philip to change things up. And that was by, and that was by going to the much longer, um, much longer spear. So he could, you know, so he stab him before he could even get in the range. So, so, I mean, you have to adapt your game to, to the rules that you have. So that's what I do. Uh, I try to keep as close to it as what I can, but I will have to make adjustments to our game. So, but thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a good night. Good night.